Hello, this is James Gaskin with Technology is Broken, how to fix IT in your business. And we're about to talk to Dylan Mason and learn about earthquake mitigation. Dylan, how are you? Oh, I'm good today. Great. Well, tell us what, where I'm in Texas and we don't have a lot of earthquakes. Sure. Tell us about earthquake mitigation. Sure. Well, uh, up and down the West Coast and uh, in Asia, earthquake mitigation is a serious continuity issue. And so WorkSafe Technologies provides an alternative to rigid bolting. And rigid bolting has pretty much been the standard in data centers for years. Um, and it's just been that way. And, and no one ever really looks at alternatives. And so WorkSafe... Let me get this straight. So they think bolting the expensive computers to the walls that are going to shake is somehow better. Yeah, that's been the, the practice for years, and people just kind of uh, have been going with the flow, and we provide an alternative to rigid bolting of the IT equipment. Show us what this is exactly. So, sure, this is a, a ball and cone technology, which is a, a base isolation platform uh, by WorkSafe Technologies that acts as a, a filter and will filter out the vibrations uh, that the energy will be passed out through the equipment. So the horizontal shaking, which is most of the shaking in earthquake, the horizontal shaking just gets transferred to rolling the equipment around the way the equipment dampens the activity. The, the ball and cone technology has been around for years and is very well understood in the engineering industry. Um, it's called the ball and cone. It's used in bridges and buildings around the world. Uh, I think the San Francisco City Hall ba is building is base isolated. And uh, here in Washington, the, the Office of Emergency Management at Camp Murray in Fort Lewis, the whole building is base isolated. So the technology is very well understood. This has just been miniaturized for small mass equipment and has become a huge success in Japan and during the Nisqually earthquake that happened here in 2001 in Seattle. Now you have one rack on this base right now, but you can hold a uh, many racks on here, I'm assuming. Yeah, we take uh, very specific uh, measurements of the equipment that you have, and then we will build a platform for that equipment. Uh, sometimes it's one standard cabinet, and sometimes uh, for the Navy base, um, it's just a hodgepodge of different cabinets. Uh, that we will build the platform for and then go on top of base isolation. And what's the starting price for a company with one or two racks? Um, for one or two racks you're looking at about $4,500 which is a fixed cost. This equipment will sit in place uh, for 20, 30, 50 years until the next seismic event. So clients really like the fact that there is absolutely no maintenance cost involved. So unlike software, there's not patches for this thing? Nope, none at all. And you said Tokyo or Japan is a big market. Japan has been a huge success for us because what we've had is um, the ISO base receive a JQA certification um, through shake table testing and other requirements that Japanese government requires and then we were able to market our ISO based platforms in Japan and upon receiving the certification we had some initial interest and we've gone through now 10 earthquakes in Japan with huge success stories of equipment that have gone through the earthquakes and performed as expected where the equipment right next to it is, has been vibration damaged and, and failed. Um, so it's been a, a great success story of what's happened in Japan. Now, for your planning purposes, you need to leave a little bit of room on each direction for the shaking, I assume. Shake that a little bit more so we can see. Sure. Well, what we have is an 8-inch diameter dish. So there'll be up to 8 inches of movement, uh, which we need to be away from a fixed wall. We need 12 inches of slack in the cabling, and it also raises it up 3 inches. Um, so there are some requirements that need to be addressed. But uh, we have about 50,000 cabinets around the world on base isolation and uh, a lot of happy customers. And you can put anything on here, but I assume people put uh, things that are more prone to earthquake damage? Um, the requirements are vibration sensitive and mission critical. So um, not so much UPS, um, but more server SAN, uh, tape libraries, anything vibration sensitive. Well, hard disks are certainly, certainly vibration sensitive. Sure, absolutely. And you have hard disk arrays that go through earthquake events and come out uh, without, a, without a problem. Well, we've shake table tested stuff that was rigid bolted compared to the ISO base, and it's, it's been pretty amazing what happens to equipment that is rigid bolted uh, compared to equipment that's on the ISO base platform.
I'll shake this around a little bit more for one more picture. There's a lot of, there's a fair amount of play, so I'm guessing that it would take a large event to shake a loaded cabinet this much. Well, generally when a cabinet is fully loaded like this one would be, it would uh, be three cabinets weigh maybe up to 6,000 pounds. And because it's a concurve disc, you're pushing uphill. And so if this was a fully loaded cabinet, it would hardly even move. But because it's empty, it moves very freely. Which is great for the demonstration. Absolutely. But the school is going to. And of course, if the cabinet's bolted to the wall, then if the wall shakes, the cabinet shakes. The cabinet, the equipment shakes, and that's where you get vibration damage. And tall cabinets, do they shake more at the bottom or at the top when they're attached to the floor? It's, uh, it's been found that the equipment at the top uh, has the most vibration damage. Kind of a whiplash effect? Yep. Great. Well, in case our viewers are in earthquake sensitive zones, how can they find you and learn more about the. Sure, we have representation product? in uh, a number of different areas. St. Louis is a very seismically active area that not a lot of people think of. Uh, Northern California, Southern California, uh, Portland and Seattle, and British Columbia all have offices uh, that can be found at WorkSafe Tech. TECH dot com or by ISO ISO dash BASE dot com and uh, there's actually some very impressive videos on our website on shake table tests and uh, you can take a look at that on our website. So that uh, worksafe tech dot com correct and ISO dash base dot com. That's correct. Great. Well, we've been talking to Dylan Mason and his earthquake mitigation equipment for Technology is Broken, How to Fix IT in Your Business. Thanks for watching. Thanks, James.